man, it's me. Want to go bowling? The cell phone in GTA 4 allowed us to not only receive calls that were related to the story, or calls from our friends begging us to hang out with them, hey, now we could actually interact with the phone, pull it up, customize the wallpaper, change the ringtone, call your friends. Uh, I was asleep. I'll be up around 8. Nico, how come you trash my cab? But you never trash those tanks you drive back home. Nah, man, all they want to do is eat, 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 eat. Nicky, you called me at the wrong time here. I'm about to start a workout. Don't make me do no bowling again so soon. You're the only stone cold killer I know with a bowling fetish. Find someone else to join you. But at some point during the game's development, there might have been something else that we could have done with the phone. Roman mentions that one day, Nico might be able to upgrade to a better phone, and eventually he does when Playboy gives him the Wiz phone. But what if phone upgrades weren't meant to happen just within the story only? In the American.gxt files, there's some unused text or lines of dialogue that seem to imply that we would have been able to purchase new phone models. Most of these lines just say, hello customer, and thanks for shopping with us, but check out the one at the top. We are pleased to inform you that your new Toshi C6000 phone has arrived at our store in South Bohan. At your soonest convenience, please come in to pick it up from one of our friendly service staff. Thank you for doing business with us, and remember that it is our pleasure to tinkle in your ear. Okay, just to add some context to that last line, Tinkle is the name of another cell phone provider in the GTA universe. They weren't as prominently featured in GTA 4 as Badger and Wiz Wireless, but they still have a few ads around, and they're one of the sponsors of CNT's I'm Rich. And from the sounds of that unused line of text, they would have at least had one store somewhere on the map that we could go to and pick up a new phone. Not a Tinkle phone, though, one that was manufactured by Toshi, which I guess is supposed to be like their Toshiba. Now, there's always a chance that this could have just been a one-off. Maybe a mission would have required us to do this before it got changed or completely removed, especially since there doesn't appear to be any other references to cell phone stores anywhere else. Unless it was something that was cut early on in favor of letting the player have one phone that automatically changes later on in the game that you can then customize with different wallpapers. Maybe this one line of dialogue or text is as far as they got into working on this. They likely would have been purchased online, and then you'd go to the store itself to pick up a phone after you get a text message or email. They mentioned that the store is in South Bohan, but I personally couldn't find the location. Could have been any one of these places, to be honest, and if it was cut early on, that wouldn't surprise me, because clearly they would have changed it up a lot, and they might have just made it into a random shop front at this point. But that's not to say that there aren't any Tinkle stores on the map. There's one in Bohan, but it's in Northern Gardens and not in South Bohan. Then there's another one on Frankfurt Avenue in Algonquin, not far from Playboy X's place. And then there's this big building in Alderney City that's probably supposed to be just like a corporate office, but who knows, maybe it could have housed a store too. Could any of these have been potential locations for the cell phone stores before the idea was scrapped? Who knows? Maybe, or maybe not. It could have just been a random shop front that was come up with after the idea was scrapped. Now, I should also mention that, unless I miss them somewhere, I don't think Badger and Wiz even have stores, despite being the cell phone providers that Nico actually uses throughout the game. Also, I feel like I should mention this as well, the model of the phone that was shown in the beta screenshots is clearly much different than the one that we actually have in the final game. It looks a little bit bigger, but not only that, this model still exists in the game. It's in the files of the game, along with an alternate texture that has the San Andreas logo on it. And then there's this very detailed Wiz phone model that we saw in a cutscene with Playboy X. It's the one he hands over to Nico. So, unless these were just random props meant for civilians, maybe these also could have been additional phone models that the player would have been able to use before this idea was scrapped in favor of keeping the same phone. So, now you've heard me talk about this, but what do you think about it? And what are your thoughts about the possible cell phone stores that might have been cut from the game? Would you have liked to have been able to buy a new phone for Nico? Do you think it would have been a cool feature, or do you think it would have been a pointless one? Why do you think it might have been cut? And do you think that the cell phone store shop fronts could have any significance to this? Let me know what your thoughts about this are in the comments. And hey, if you liked the video, why not subscribe? As always, thank you for watching.